Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to my video where I look at using Tidal in DJ Pro 2. I'll be going over how to migrate from Spotify to Tidal, all of Tidal's features in DJ Pro 2, and I'll be giving you guys my thoughts at the end. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm in DJ Pro 2 right now, and this is the Tidal screen. And before I just mention this, um, today is July 6th uh, on the date of recording. And my Spotify still works, even though if you go over to the Spotify, it says this message uh, is not going to be working um, five days ago. But uh, I don't think this is going to last for a while. I think DJ Pro 2 is going to fix that. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Um, but anyway, this video is about Tidal, so we'll talk about Tidal. I am still a Spotify user, but Tidal is offering a three free month trial for uh, DJ Pro or DJ iOS users. So, and I went over that in my last video on this topic. But anyway, it's really easy to make the switch from Spotify to Tidal, and I'm gonna show you guys how right now. So I'm on Algorithm's website right now uh, for streaming migration, and we see here the future of streaming in DJ Pro 2. It has the message, I went over this in my last video. Um, that link will be in this, the description if you haven't seen it yet. But uh, anyway, we know that this is kind of a lie, for me at least, um, but I doubt it's gonna be around for much longer for Spotify, so it's good to pick a new streaming service for a DJ. But anyway, um, the first two options you see are migrate to Tidal and migrate to SoundCloud. Uh, so I'm just going to migrate to Tidal right here. So click that. And then we get to this page where it basically sends us to Tidal. And what I did is I typed my email in here and I did not choose to get the uh, newsletter. And then I checked my email and it came right away. And this is what the email looks like. Dear DJ user, thanks for your interest in DJ plus title. You're just a few steps away from accessing millions of tracks and music videos. So the first thing I did is I clicked on this, this uh, free premium voucher. So I clicked and you got this code. And I'm not gonna do this again because I've already um, done this and I see that it says the voucher code that I've entered is not valid. It's because I've already redeemed it. Um, but anyway, you follow the instructions that it gives you with an email confirmation and then standard information whenever you're signing up for something. So like name, I believe they make you put an address and they do make you put a credit card. So just be wary. If you're not going to use Title, if you don't plan on using it after the three month trial, make sure you set a reminder somewhere, either your phone or your computer to cancel it. I've already set a reminder to cancel it, even though this might be my new permanent streaming service, but it's just a good um, habit to get yourself into. Uh, they also make you download the app but uh, you, don't, you obviously don't need the app to use it. You can use a web browser, which I have uh, right here. So once all that uh, logistical information is entered, you go back to the email and then you click on import your music to title. And this was one of the most impressive things. I'm so happy that this was so easy because I know a lot of people were upset when Spotify uh, was supposedly uh, not gonna work with DJ Pro 2 anymore. So you click this migration link here and this was just, this blew my mind how easy it was. So you can either, click that, let's start. You can either uh, copy and paste Spotify URLs, but if you log in to your Spotify account here, it'll do it automatically. And it took me about 10 to 15 minutes. I cannot stress how easy this was. So this is through Tune My Music. Um, if you guys want me to do a video on this, I can. I guess I can do it again, but I really don't think you need a tutorial on this because it was so easy and so smooth. And as you can see, right now I'm in my title, and these are all of my Spotify playlists that I have, okay? And almost every song was basically there, and some that weren't, it was just because it was a different version. Almost every single one, and I believe actually every single one, that, uh, that wasn't available to be transferred. I can just Google, uh, sorry, not Google. I can just search the song on Tidal and just drag it into the playlist. So this was really, um, really a great experience in moving over from Spotify to Tidal. It was so smooth. So now I'm gonna go back to DJ Pro. And now I'm gonna log in here, which is gonna be pretty straightforward. And we're good to go. So at first glance, it looks very similar uh, to the Spotify view. So 
I'll explain more about that in just a moment. So I'm gonna try to uh, go over everything, uh, kind of maybe starting up here. Uh, and then once again, I will give you guys my uh, thoughts at the end. So right here, this is the playlist uh, view right here. So um, just like Spotify, this is, you got all your playlists here. Um, you can pick a playlist. So I'll go for my Timmy G of course, and I'll do my new track change up and I'll drag this on. And it is just like loading uh, a track from Spotify. The way the filters work is the same as uh, it does for any of the other streaming services. So you can click here. I, I could get tracks that are in between. Let's see, I don't even know if I have any tracks in this range. Um, yep, I don't. So I'll pick in between, let's do 120 and 160 BPM. So that will get me a lot of my songs, but not all of them. Uh, and you can choose other filters here. Is is not greater than, less than. Um, you can remove the filter. The key, which I don't think, uh, let's see if the key works here. I'll do, uh, I'll do A. Nope, D, nope. Doesn't look like the key data is here. There's nothing listed, even if I put a track on. Oh, okay, it does analyze it after you load the track. Okay, that's good to know. And then you can make your own filter here, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't, I, don't, I don't really use this feature in DJ Pro 2. Now I'm gonna look at the browse section, and if you notice the difference between Tidal and Spotify, here's my Spotify, there's only two options here, but for Tidal, I have three. And this is audio browse, and this is video browse. One of the coolest parts about Tidal is you can literally stream videos in the software. So this is a great, great service if you are a video DJ. And I'm gonna talk more about that in a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to the audio browse. And it works very similar to the Spotify audio browse. So they have new, staff picks, top 20, uh, and then they have all sorts of like bigger umbrella genres. And I was really impressed with how many like sub playlists that they had. So I'll go to like dance right here. So now they have big big dance energy, rinse, bop, electric. You guys get the picture, but you click on all these playlists. There's tons of different playlists. And this is good if you're in a pinch or you just wanna find new music. Uh, and then, I mean, it, it's the same for all of these. If I go to blues, all sorts of different types of blues playlists that you have access to right on the spot that you can stream. They also have moods down here. So relax, party, workout, love, focus. So if I go to workout here, we get all sorts of different workout playlists for different genres and et cetera, et cetera. So this is a really cool feature, the audio browse. Now the video browse is also really cool. So you got access to all sorts of different videos. Now exclusive, I don't know exactly what this means, but this probably means that uh, Tidal is the only service that offers these videos, which is pretty cool. Uh, you got, once again, all these genres. Now, most songs do not have music videos, but it is cool. Uh, a lot of the popular ones do, not all of them, but a lot of them do. So if you are a video DJ, this is definitely something looking uh, more into because this is a really cool service. Now I'm gonna talk about the search feature over here. And one thing I didn't mention is that you can view this either way. So you can have it in a grid, which might be more helpful for videos, or as a list, which I think is more helpful for uh, songs. But anyway, you can search title. So let's see, I will search um, Drake. So here I have Drake songs that I can put, and then Drake videos, which I can put on here. And then artists, albums, and playlists. So all this different stuff. Because the videos are the newest feature here for this service, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like loading a video. So let's say I'll do this one. Would I like to load this track in video mode? Sure, so this will automatically bring me to uh, video mode right here. If I wanna go back to two deck mode, I can go right here. And then I just see the um, audio, the waveform here. But if I'm back in video mode, uh, here we see that I have particles on the left, sorry, the right deck. Move this over. Um, I'm not going to be recording this audio here because I don't want to get copyrighted, but if, you, if I move this over, we can see, maybe this is still loading. 
All right, so this video finally loaded and I did have to change the quality preferences just cause I didn't want to wait too long to um, get the high definition version. But you can see the video is showing here. I turned the volume down cause once again, I don't want to get copyrighted. Uh, but if the video was totally loaded, uh, you'd see it here, but it's not. Um, but anyway, th this has worked better for me uh, in the past when I've tried this, but for now when I'm recording, it's obviously not working. Um, but that's just one of the many cool things. And I just mentioned the quality of the video, how I changed it. Oh, here it is back again. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust both the audio quality and the video quality. So if you go to DJ Pro and then preferences, and I was already on here, but if you if you're on general, you'd go to library here. And for, let's see, for Spotify, it still has the settings. For Tidal, uh, another benefit of Tidal is something I didn't really talk about yet, is you can choose the Hi-Fi, but that's only if you have the Hi-Fi subscription, which does cost more money. Uh, I believe it costs about $20 per month, rather than the regular one, which is $10 per month. And that is what the free trial is. We just have the uh, free trial version. So I believe high is the highest we can get. I honestly don't think you need hi-fi quality, especially if you're DJing. Um, but if you want it, more power to you, enjoy it and might as well use it. Uh, but just know that it will take a lot longer to load your songs. And then for video quality, you have low, medium, high and HD. Now, if you are streaming music videos uh, and projecting them, you're probably gonna wanna do it at at least high quality. I don't know what um, the actual like pixel count is for all of these, but if you have a big screen, then HD is probably gonna be what you want. So just make sure you have a good connection and then test it out, see how long it loads, uh, it takes to load a track or a video in this case before. So this is low quality. Let's see if this is even loaded yet. Let me play it. I turned the volume down. Let me play it. Yeah, so I'm having trouble loading it. Maybe it's my uh, internet connection, but we can see that it pops up um, in a while. One cool thing about the videos is you can treat them just like any other um, effects here. Like these particles here, I could do all sorts of effects. So I'm gonna pull this up. Like I can turn the grid on, um, let's see, that's not a great one to do. Kaleidoscope, that's a cool one to show you. So you can affect these videos in any way you want with the DJ Pro 2 affects both the visual and the AV, which does both audio and visual. All right, I'm gonna go back to the two deck mode now. If you wanna know more about how video mode uh, works, I do have a video on that. Uh, you can check it out in my DJ Pro playlist on my channel. Now I'm gonna talk about uh, the match feature. It's kind of like the Spotify match. Uh, but once again, this time we have both audio match and video match. So uh, if I go right here, here's the match. I just clicked, by the way, all, bottom right corner, this little, it kind of looks like an arrow uh, with a rectangle or multiple rectangles in it. Uh, so right now I have 2Z slide on. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't really listen to a whole lot of pop music. Uh, but anyway, we have all of these other videos here because I have a video playing. We have videos being suggested to me so I could try some of these um, out, maybe play them beforehand before I play them to the crowd. Uh, or just like if I had a regular song. So let's say I have this one right here. So I just loaded a song. Now we just have audio tracks being suggested to us. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And if you notice, we have these explicit markers here, here, uh, just like the ones in Spotify, pretty straightforward. Um, so that's pretty cool about the uh, match function in Tidal that you both have the audio and video option. Just a quick reminder, uh, you cannot record through the software when you're using any of the streaming services. So if I click here and let's say that I'm, I have this volume down, but let's say I hit play, I try to record, it's not gonna let me because I'm using a streaming service. Um, that's probably obvious to you. I have multiple videos. I have three videos actually on how to get around this if you do want to record your set. It basically has you uh, record the audio coming out of your controller or whatever that is back into your computer. Uh, but you can check that out if you're interested. And the last thing I'm going to show you about Tidal is how to log out. So it's very straightforward. You go to library and then log out of Tidal, click it, 
and then you're done. All right, so now I'm just gonna talk about my take on using Tidal. So first I'm gonna start with the pros. Uh, one of the pros is the three month free trial. That is a long time to figure out whether or not you like this. Um, another pro is the super easy transition from Spotify that I showed you guys earlier in this video. That was really, really great. Another thing I liked is how similar to the Spotify streaming it is. So it's basically like if you know how to use the Spotify features when streaming, you can use the title ones without even knowing how to do it. So that's another good thing. Another big pro that I mentioned a lot is the videos, which I obviously had trouble getting them loaded, but if you don't, then that is really great, especially for video DJs. Uh, or even if you want to try to uh, DJ with videos, it's there's a lot of different um, things you can do, not only mixing the audio together, but mixing the video together. So that's really fun. The last pro that I thought of here, and there's probably more, but the last one that I thought of, is that the browse feature is on par with or better than Spotify. Uh, I was really impressed with it. So if you're looking for new tunes in a pinch, uh, you can just go to the browse feature and you'll probably uh, find a new track that you like. Uh, same with the match too. The match was really good uh, on par, if not better than Spotify. Cons, I had a hard time finding cons here. Uh, the only con that I wrote down in my notes is that a handful of tracks in the playlists weren't identical. Um, so you needed to manually add those ones, but there was very few of those and they were all able to be found. So I don't even know if that's a con. That's more like a nuisance, if anything. Um, and then I guess the, the other con that I can think of is that you would have to leave Spotify. If you like using Spotify outside of DJing, um, it doesn't really make sense to be paying for two streaming services, but, um, you know, if you want to spend your money that way, I'm not going to judge you. So anyway, that's the end of my video, uh, reviewing Tidal and DJ Pro 2. If you like this video and it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ tutorials, DJ mixes, or sound design tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. <laughs>